earlier sessions we have seen very simple systems be it a combinational or a sequential system so in this session we'll be constructing an involved sequential system which is a 3 bit down counter using jk flip flop so actually this diagram it's already constructed in a schematic which represents the system of equations as shown an output is 3 bit wherein q2 is the msb and q0 is the lsb so let's get started so this diagram is already appended in schematic so we'll go to the isc project navigator and we'll create a new project so first we'll close the project and we'll click on new project we name it as project 2 and one can add a description as well so having done that we get a fresh project so here we can add this schematic which we have already constructed so let me just show you once so this down c dot sch is the schematic so we need to add that schematic file in this project so we'll click on add source and we'll browse through the schematic so this schematic is available now so let's open it so this is logic 1 that is vcc so one can search for vcc similarly for logic 0 we have ground so one can type g n d in the name there we go so this system of equations are implemented in this schematic file so let me just let so let's quickly browse through the equations for second jk flip flop it is negation of q not for third it's negation summation of that and there is a common clear signal so let's save the file and quickly check the design rules now to test the module we'll create a test fixture so these are the input sets and these are the outputs which are 3 bit numbers and this is the instantiation so let's initialize it appropriately let's initialize the inputs appropriately so at starting let's assert the clear signal and after a delay of some 10 nanosecond we'll 
DSAT be clear signal. So that the so that count begins. And we'll stop the display of output after 400 nanosecond. Now to create the clock behavior, we'll use always block. So test picture is ready. So let's quickly test the module. So we'll switch to the simulation tab. We'll select the test bench. And unit under test is the schematic file. So the output is available in the ICM program. So one can see the three bit number separately. So let's quickly arrange it through its MSB form. So Q2 as MSB and Q0 as LSB. So these are the outputs. So with every positive edge of clock, this count begins. The count changes. output more readable one can come to make the output readable one can club the outputs as a multi-bit number or a multi-bit signal so let's declare a variable Q which is a multi-bit signal And then we'll appropriately define it as a three bit number, a three bit variable. And we'll comment the previous declarations. And these are the variables which which gets displayed. So we'll call it as Q0, this as Q1, and this as Q2. So the three bit output, the three separate bit bits the three separate bits are now combined into one three bit number so let's quickly test it There we go. So in the ICM program, we have only three signal displayed. That is Q, clear, and clock. So to make it readable again, one can change the radix of the variable. So one can right click, go to radix, and set it to unsigned decimal. There we go. So this is what we call as three bit down counter.